Now we shall start with module 4. So question uh, 7a, solve dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y all divided by sin x plus x cos y plus x equal to 0. So this is the given uh, differential equation. We require to sign, uh, find uh, the solution for this. So it is not in standard form. We shall uh, reduce to standard form. The standard form is m dx uh, plus i n dy equal to 0. We shall uh, reduce to that form. So now if I cross multiply, I got m dx plus n dy. So I will uh, came to know what is what is m and what is n. Differentiate m partially with respect to y and differentiate n partially with respect to x. So I came to know that uh, both are equal. I came to know that both are equal. Both the derivatives are equal. So therefore, I can say that the given differential equation is exact. So once you came to know that uh, both the partial derivatives are equal to equal, which is exact. The solution is given by what? Uh, integral of m dx plus n dy plus integral of n of y dy equal to c. So what is m here? m is known for you. n of y, what is the meaning of n of y? n of y is nothing but the terms containing y alone. In, in n, the terms containing y alone. You should, con uh, the, the function containing y alone you should select. Uh, the x should be absent there. So in such case, uh, we don't have such term in n so therefore n of y is 0 so consider m and uh, consider n of y as 0 so therefore integrating uh, the m part with respect to x we got the solution that is the that is the required solution for the given d now we shall go for uh, next problem 7 b so solve r sin theta minus cos theta dr by d theta equal to r square. So actually this is a uh, linear d. Uh, so I should reduce this uh, uh, form to a Bernoulli's uh, d. So how to reduce this? Uh, let us see. So as the given problem is in uh, polar form, I should uh, somewhat I, uh, I should get in the form of uh, I should get in the form of uh, dy by dx plus p y equal to q in that form. So to reduce that in that form, I am going to multiply throughout by uh, minus sign and uh, divide by r square. I am going to do, uh, do that one first. Multiply by minus sign and divide by r square. I am going to get this. Uh, then I am going to go with the substitution put uh, 1 over r as uh, y and then differentiate with respect to theta. So derivative of 1 over r is minus 1 over r square into dr by d theta equal to dy by d theta. So substituting that uh, value in the above equation star, equation star becomes uh, what? So equation star becomes, uh, so uh, by substituting equation star becomes minus cos theta dy by d theta minus y since uh, 1 over r is y sin theta equal to minus 1. So next, I am going to divide by minus cos theta. I am going to get dy by d theta. Minus minus get cancelled. So sin theta by cos theta is uh, tan theta y equal to uh, 1 over cos theta is secant theta. So finally, I came to know the form uh, dy by dx uh, plus uh, p y equal to q. What is p? What is q? I will identify that one. So this is in a standard form. So it is of the form uh, dy by d theta plus p y equal to q where p is what tan theta and q is secant theta. Hence I am going to find the integrating factor e power integral of p d theta. I got that as secant theta. The solution is what y into integrating factor which is equal to integral of q into integrating factor with respect to theta plus c. So substituting integrating factor as secant theta y secant theta equal to integral of secant theta secant theta d theta plus c. Secant theta into secant theta becomes secant square theta. Uh, integral of secant square theta is uh, tan theta. So y secant theta plus equal to tan theta plus c. So y is what? y is what? No, 1 over r. Substituting that is the required solution for us. Next we shall go for uh, the uh, choice part. So next go with uh, question number 8a. Solve 
4 x y plus 3 y square minus x uh, dx plus uh, x into x plus uh, 2y dy equal to 0. So it is in standard form. Let us uh, identify uh, whether it is uh, exact or not. We shall check for that. It is in uh, mdx plus ndy equal to 0. What is m? What is n? We will rectify that one. And differentiate m partially with respect to y and differentiate n partially with respect to x. So uh, unfortunately, I came to know both are not equal. So therefore, which is not exact, I can say. Then to reduce that to exact form, I will go with the difference of those two uh, partial derivatives. So and I will take out uh, the common term from that. So I got uh, the common term as uh, 2. So that value is uh, nearest to n. Uh, I should uh, identify whether the value is nearest to n or m. If it is nearest to n, I will uh, note down that it is nearest to n. And if it is nearest to m, I will note down that as nearest to m. So after noting down, I am going to find out uh, the integrating factor for that. So I got the nearest to the value is nearest to n. So then uh, that value is divided by n there. So the difference is divided by n. So I uh, got the value. Now finding the integrating factor. Integrating factor is given by e power integral of f of x dx. f of x is came to know that here 2 by x. So integrating that part, uh, integral of uh, 2 by x is uh, 2 log x. So applying loss of logarithm, it uh, raised to the power x. So it becomes log x square as uh, uh, applying a loss of exponential we came to know the integrating factor is x square multiplying that x square uh, to the m and n we are going to get we are going to get uh, the m and n values are multiplying by x square we got m and n then differentiating again partially m with respect to y and n with respect to x we got to know that both are equal so we came to know which is exact therefore the solution is known for us that is integral of m dx plus integral of n of y dy is equal to c substitute the value of uh, uh, m here you should substitute the value of m is multiply after multiplying by x whatever you got the value of that m should be substituted over here and uh, also the n of y should be find out by using this value. So here also n of y is 0. So now integrating this part with respect to x, we got 4x, uh, 4x power 4 by 4, 4, 4 get cancelled. So y plus 3x cubed by uh, 3, 3, 3 get cancelled. x power 4 by 4 equal to c is the final answer. Is the required solution for the given d. Now we shall go for question number 8b. Find uh, the orthogonal trajectories of the family of the parabola y square equal to 4ax. So you should know uh, how to find uh, what is the procedure of finding orthogonal trajectories. Uh, now the given problem is itself a Cartesian form. So uh, in the Cartesian form you, sh uh, you should differentiate with respect to x. After differentiation uh, if you have any arbitrary constant you should eliminate that arbitrary constant that is our aim after eliminating uh, the arbitrary constant you should replace dy by dx by minus dx by dy then separating the variables find the uh, integration find the integration uh, then that is the required ot for the given uh, family of uh, any curve so the given d is uh, the given uh, equation is uh, cartesian form so differentiate that with respect to x. So I came to know 4a, but I want to eliminate 4a. From 1, 4a can be written as y square by x. I have gone, gone with that substitution. And then separate the variables. The given, this is the given uh, d. Replace, replace and separate the variables. Then after integration, I got the required ot for the given d is the required is the required ot for the given d it is a very simple problem so here we were having a 4a so by using the equation 1 i substituted 4a then simplifying that part i got a differential equation 
that is the de of the given family then change uh, d by dy by dx by minus dx by dy so then we are uh, separating the variables by variables of probable form then integrating that part we are going to get the required quote next we shall go for uh, 8c so the given problem is p square plus 2 p by cot x equal to y square so when i observe this problem i feel that uh, the problem is of the form either it is solvable for p or x or y so actually it is in standard form p square plus 2 p y equal to y square so by applying shridhara's formula i will go with uh, directly uh, what is uh, b here min uh, 2y cortex and c is uh, y minus y square uh, a is 1 so substituting all those values in uh, shridhara's formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a that is what i have done so simplifying this part here 4y square can be taken outside 4y square times of cot square plus 1 i am going to get cot square plus 1 is cosecant square so therefore 4y square cot cosecant square becomes under square root 2y cosecant x 2y cosecant x then i can take out the common term as 2y i can take out common term as 2y and i will consider the two factors of p will consider the factors of p as y into minus cot x plus cosecant x another one is minus cosecant x so now as p is known for us dy by dx separating the variables here by variables parallel form we were going to find out uh, the uh, solution for that integrating that we are going to get here you should remember that uh, uh, integral of cosecant x is log of uh, tan x by 2 integral of cot x is uh, log of sin x so simplifying here uh, uh, by loss of logarithm log a minus log b can be written as log a by b and here we have k uh, playing uh, log here log a this is log a plus log b can be considered log a b then log a b minus log c can be written as log a b by c that is what i have done c uh, log c tan x by 2 sin x what is this c k can be written as uh, log c as it is a constant we can write that in that form log log get cancelled y equal to c tan x by 2 uh, in all divided by sin x sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 so sin x by 2 sin x by 2 get cancelled we are left out with uh, 1 over cosecant uh, cos square x by 2 so one uh, cos square x by 2 is nothing but 1 over cos square x by 2 2 times of cos square x by 2 is nothing but 1 plus cos x so cross multiplying that y into 1 plus cos x minus c is the required solution similarly consider uh, another uh, factor and simplifying that we are going to get the solution as same follows we are going to get instead of uh, 2 cos cos square we are going to get 2 sin square that can be written as 1 minus cos x 1 minus 1 minus cos x so 1 minus cos x here 1 minus cos x so multiplying these two values multiplying uh, these two products is the required solution multiplying these two products is the required solution for the given d